So as I said, we got a great show for you tonight. You know, and the show hasn't been on very long, but we're getting a great young following. And we got some special stuff here tonight for, from some young viewers that was sent. So we're going to check this out right now. I got this one by Gary, age 11. We got this nice picture here by Gary, age 11, with Satan, with his dick hanging out. And it's... It's an okay picture, but what really makes it is the burning church in the background with the people screaming on fire. Good job, Gary. I really love the church burning. Keep up the good work and hail Satan. Our next picture here is from Abby. Abby age nine. Look at Satan here with a couple heads in his hands. It's great. Oh, it's his parents. Even nicer. You know, mommy here. She looks like a whore. I'd probably fuck her. I probably have fun. And we got Daddy over here. You can tell he's a douchebag. But look at this. He's shitting on the Bible. This is great work for a nine-year-old. Great work, Daddy. You're doing, you're doing Satan's work here. So keep up the good work and hail Satan. Our last picture here is by Jeffrey. Jeffy, Jeffrey, Jeffy, Jeffrey. I don't fucking. Age six. It says. It says right next to the picture of Christ with bloody handprint on it, it says, Not my savior. This is this is excellent freaking work for a six year old. It says, Dear Anton, I have killed for you. I hopefully it's your parents. Great job. Keep up the good work and keep tuning in every fucking day. So I think it's about time for our first guest tonight. Our first guest is a com comedian. I heard he's funny. So let's give a good round of applause for our first guest tonight, Jimmy Spriggan. Oh, hey, yeah! I'm like, I'm like, all right, L.A., beautiful L.A. Oh, it's good to be here. But I, I got to tell you, backstage, uh, the stage director told me to inform you guys in the audience that there actually is a uh, an alligator <laughs> running loose. So be careful, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! But I gotta tell you, this is actually my first time. My first time on network television. And unfortunately, it's on a show that nobody's gonna watch. <laughs> Woo! L.A. L.A. You know, I, it's my favorite place to go out to L.A. Every time I pack my bags, I live in New York, but uh, when I head to L.A., my wife always asks me the same question. She says... Are you just are you just going to LA to look at girls on the beach? And, and every time I say, "Honey, is the Pope Catholic?" <laughs> 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 but you know, my favorite thing besides the girls about LA, I gotta tell you, celebrities everywhere you go, a celebrity here, a celebrity there, and I, I wanted to tell you about a a funny story that actually happened to me. I was in a deli. Uh, a, a, a deli just up in uptown, and uh, I was in line, and there were these two fellows who were arguing about who was first in line, you know, and just having a big scuffle, and I was like, what's going on? Who are these guys? What, what's going on? And I, I looked closely, and the two guys were actually John Wayne, the Duke, and uh, and Woody Allen, <laughs> the famous comedian. And, uh, and uh, Woody was... Uh, he was trying to get in front of John, and, and the Duke just set, uh, grabbed him by the shoulder and said, uh, Hey there, Pilgrim. What are you doing? I was in line first. And, and Woody's like, I, uh, you, uh, Pilgrim, what, what, what are we, on the Mayflower or something? <laughs> and then uh, the Duke pushed uh, Woody into who else but Frank Sinatra, the chairman of the board. Yeah, <laughs> and, uh, and Frank says, uh, Hey there, bozo, watch where you're going. Which would have been a big insult, but Woody Allen was actually dressed as uh, Bozo the Clown <laughs> at the time. So, oh, uh, well, that was my last joke that I was supposed to go out on a high note. But, uh, Anton, do you mind if I come and sit with you for the remainder of the show? Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you, LA. I love you.